Well, it's late summer and nothing says barbecue than corn on the cob. I'm with Brian, we're down at Bauman Farms, and we have corn today. Oh, I'm so excited, <laughs> it's corn season, it's great. So Brian, we get people asking, it's like, you know, they're out harvesting, they've tried mm -hmm. their garden this year, they want corn. When do you harvest it? When is it ready? So we actually start our corn in the greenhouse. Um, and then we transplant it out in the field. Our claim to fame, if we can do it all right, is we can have corn by the 4th of July, but that's super early. Right. Generally, middle of July, end of July we start, and we will keep planting corn all summer long. So until it freezes, we should have corn on the cob at Bauman Farms. Which is great. Yeah. So, you know, so people have it in their yard, and you know, you got corn on the cob. When do you know if it's ready? So harvest? we got a couple layers of corn here. When, people ask me this all the time, and everybody's out there peeling it back. And when we're picking the corn, what we're doing is we're grabbing a hold of the top of the ear. Right. And if I can feel that it's full all the way to the top, it's good to go. Right, because you don't want to make that mistake of starting to peel it off while it's still on there. That would then, take a long time, yeah. yeah. Um, and people always ask, you know, when they've got the big bin out front, how do you know which one's ripe? And I tell them right. about holding the top, because a lot of people are out there peeling the hustle back right. on all their ears of corn, and you don't want to do that. Why is that? Because it's actually great for grilling the corn to keep oh. the husk on there. You can actually grill the corn with the husk on there, and it keeps it so much more moist and ready to go. But there's yeah. one little trick I've learned. Okay, and what's that? So you have all these hairs on the top of your right, corn, right? right. Um, if you leave these on and grill the corn, it becomes like this hairy, crispy mess. Right, I've seen all that soak and you're just like this stringy black stuff. Not a good idea. We don't, we don't so want that. What we're gonna do is slowly start peeling back the horn, corn husk. Right. I like to go like three fourths of the way back and we'll get this guy peeled back and we can actually remove all of these hairs ahead okay. of time. So we'll get these guys off of here, make the mess that my mom will be very happy that I made, <laughs> and um, then we can just wrap it back up. Oh, nice. Okay, so those are all, all cleaned up now. Cleaned up? For the hair. Right, but before we put it on, um, it's always a good idea to kind of put them in some cold water for about okay. 10 minutes. It kind of makes sure that it's really hydrated and it's not going to get burned and crispy again. Gotcha, because you know, if you're throwing it right on the grill, yeah, you know, if, it's, be a if it's dried out, it's going to burn, burn that so up. So one of the things I like to do, I can never find a bowl big enough to put my corn right. into. So I like to take like your cooler that you would fill. I put a little bit of water, some ice in there, and dunk it in there for a little while. Oh, great. Yeah, because that's how we have, have one down here that have, has it soaking up right down here. I've got some all ready for out. us. Do you want to grab me one of those yeah. ears? Yeah, I'll grab, grab that out of here. I'm going to grab your tongs here. So these, so these have been soaking for about 10 minutes, he said. You know, looks yep. like we have all, all the hairs and the tassels off of there. Go ahead and pop we'll them on there, right on in there. And I actually did one with the hairs on it, too. Okay. So I thought we could grill one of those, too, and kind of show okay. the difference. So we'll throw, throw one on here that still has that on there. Yep. Excellent. And actually, we're going to turn these about every five minutes. But it's only going to take about 15 minutes, oh, really? and these okay. guys are ready to go. So we're going to leave this down. Um, You're closing up. You're running on a high high heat. Yeah, about 300, 350. Okay. Um, and we'll let that go for five minutes, and then we'll turn them. Excellent. So it's been about 15, 20 minutes now. So let's yep. pull that open and check to see if we're done. Oh, looks uh, like we're, we're done. So we flipped that a few times now. So yep. it looks like it's it's fully cooked. And so you're pull, pulling that off. Let's let these cool down a minute. Okay, you know, so it is, you know, it's late, you know, summer, you know, it's almost fall time. Typically this time of year, you guys are getting ready for your, your fall harvest, right? Your, it, yes, um, and I will say, um, we're not doing everything like we normally do. Right. Um, and. We're kind of excited though. It's um, going to be back to our roots. So okay. kind of when I was in um, eight, second grade, I was eight years old, we did our first pumpkin patch. And it was nothing more than a place for me and my friends to come out and get some pumpkins. And right. that's exactly what we want to do for your family and other families to come out, um, come to a you pick pumpkin patch, take your pictures with the kids, getting their pumpkins. Okay. Um, the corn maze will still be there. Um, a certain number of people can go in. There'll be people in there making sure everybody wears their mask, social distance. Right. Um, it will definitely be um, different. Right, but, but you're still able to do it. So people can continue on with these traditions of 
you know, going to the pumpkin patch and you know, and the farm store's yep. open. The so farm store is open. It will right. be open um, starting in October, seven days a week, um, nine to five each day. We realize that um, when the kids get done with their Zoom calls in the right. morning for classes, come on out to Bowman Farms, um, get your apple cider donuts, get your apple cider, um, and spend an afternoon with us. Yeah, get your produce, you know, wander, wander the farm. you got a lot of acreage. It's, That's it's right. Gonna, We've it's going to be a little bit, little bit different. This and year. we're all ready to get out of the house every now and then these days. Right. So we thought this would be fun. Well, good. Well, so it looks like now that our corn is cooling off, uh, what's next steps? So uh, everybody has their own way of eating corn. Um, and you can see it is a little kind of charred on the outside here, but um, boy, that looks good all the way through. My mom likes to take um, butter, and, like a cube of butter, right. and she puts it in the refrigerator. So when you pull it out, it's hard. Right. And you can literally just pull this back now and just roll it and in just the butter. Rub it up. Yep. And that's and all that we do. That's like the Bauman family tradition. Right. I know lots of people make different like compound butters and you can put herbs and stuff in right. there. Parmesans and things like that. Exactly. On it, right? um, but at Bauman Farms, that's... That's what we and do it's great, it you know, peel it back and you have a handle to hold on to. That's right, <laughs> exactly. And you can see we did the other one here with um, with the hair still on it. And you can see they just flake off into right. a mess. Um, it's a lot harder to clean and you're left with all that residue. Yeah, left, no, thank left you. On the um, so this is definitely the way to go. This is how we do it with our family and we wanted to share it with you guys. Well, great. Well, that's great, great tips. So, you know, Brian, it's always a pleasure being out thank with you. you. You know, and you know, make sure that you go to your guys' website. Yes. You know, your web page has tons of information yes. on there Thank as you. far as, you know, what you're able to do, you know, the protocols now. But, you know, most importantly, come out. You know, come out your and have a good time. Continue the See traditions us. and, yeah. you know, and you pick up some corn while you're out here. That's so, exactly right. So, Brian, it's been a pleasure being out Thank here. You. We appreciate it. Thank you.